I want to make sure I can try to um, at least counter his position. Hey guys, Warm back again. And here's probably my best game in the pattern that I've had so far. And the pattern, um, I think I've had this for maybe a year and a half, but I haven't really played it that much. Um, I've only played about 30 games in this tank. And so this is actually like my best result that I've had, which is kind of surprising. Um, the pattern, I would say is a pretty, pretty nice tank that a lot of people um, generally go up to. And Quickie Baby really enjoyed this tank um, <laughs> a lot. And it's, this is the tank that he says that he um, kind of learned the game with. And I can kind of see why. It's, um, it's decently mobile and has a very, very nice gun. Um, this 105 millimeter with 390 alpha and 268 pen. So pretty good penetration. And I mean, the heat rounds are 330, so very good as well. And I always take a shot um, across here because um, one time, I think a while back, I was driving in my IS, uh, that tier seven heavy, and I actually hit someone from across the map while driving. So from now, now since then, I've always taken that blind shot. And I don't understand um, what that e EBR was trying to do at the beginning of the battle. Um, as well as, I mean, this EBR kind of just um, was trying to leave that location while he was still spotted. And obviously, he got, um, you know, taken out. And then this EBR, I mean, it's good to try to get early spots. But um, you should not really be sacrificing that much of your HP initially to get these spots. And especially when he poked around this corner and he just got absolutely wrecked by the grill. Wasn't very smart. And here I'm trying to see if I can get some shots on the CS65. It was a very good team from the Maui clan. So I want to make sure I can try to um, at least counter his position. And here I was very 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 lucky that the fv shot uh an ap round and it bounced off my turret um i was thinking i'm for sure gonna take like 600 damage or something like that but luckily he was flying ap and he bounced off our turret so um my life life flashed before me <laughs> there for a second and i thought it was it was all gonna be over and i spot him again here and Unfortunately, my shot hits the um, hits the ridge in front of me, and then the 705A rears his head around this corner. So I don't really want to take a shot from him. I mean, he's gonna do 650 to me while I only do 390. So not a very smart trade there. And I'm also worried because there's two artillery in this game, so I don't want to make myself an easy target for them. Here, I just poke up, see if I can spot anyone, spot the object 277 and then I just retreat back here um, just trying to stay already safe since um, recently I feel like um, I've been losing way more crewmers than usual so right now I know I'm not spotted so I can easily poke around here and poking against that FV is uh, definitely really scary since um, he might be firing Hesh and he just needs to hit anywhere on my tank and he'll do like 600 damage so i know i can be quick there and now i'm not spotted so i'm gonna wait until because it's pretty obvious to just go immediately so they are just kind of really quick with my reaction time and i was able to avoid his shot so that's one of the weaknesses of firing hesh is the shell velocity is pretty slow it's kind of like uh firing he so i was able to avoid his uh his hesh round there and our Super Conqueror decides to be pretty aggressive here. And so I decide, um, I think it's time for us to push the advantage. I mean, we were up, well, four to one initially, and then we just lost two of our light tanks there. But 
I mean, we're we're kind of um, we're up by one tank, but we're losing by about 700 HP. So I want to press the advantage, take out um, the FV. He has a big gun, and I don't want him to just, you know, uh, stifle our push here. Get a nice uh, shot while the CS63 was trying to retreat. So, and I'm not not gonna push in. Yeah, that's that's another reason why I'm not gonna just instantly push in. Uh, it's because Artie can hit me, so I want to, you know, stay Artie safe while still being useful for my team. So I want to finish off these heavies before we open up. Right, this is a crossfire in between uh, the seven two seven seven that I'm shooting at, as well as these uh, the FV and the object 705 so we want to eliminate one flank before we expose ourselves to the other so i think i just heard um either one of these two tanks fire so get a nice shot into that lower plate of that object and then the leopard and the 277 decide to be very aggressive here so i want to you know turn my attention over here since i have you know 10 degrees of gun depression um and our 277 kind of gets a little overconfident here. And um, this, uh, the enemy 277 has decided to fall back. So, and he's also being supported by this object. Um, unfortunately, I bounced off the upper plate there. It didn't really go where I aimed it. And I'm fine taking that shot because I'm trying to keep my 277 friend alive. And artillery also misses, so... Um, here, I realize that, oh shit, we might actually lose this game. Since uh, the scores are tied up and we're actually down, um, like, what, 1600 HP. So, just trying to finish off this object. And I know that he doesn't really have good gun depression like I do, so... I want to kind of push that advantage, but... I don't want to take any unnecessary damage, and... There he fires at the FV, so I know I can easily get the kill shot there. And already up to uh, 5,600 damage, so... And we're still on uh, 700 HP, so we're pretty healthy here. And here I just... I mean, I aimed it perfectly. It just didn't go anywhere near where I aimed it. And just trying to remove some of his cover since um, my reload is very slow or really relatively fast compared to these um, heavies. So uh, knock down that building, which allows our um, object to get a nice shot into that CS-63. And he's kind of a, uh, a very dangerous uh, tank, especially since he's an excellent player as well. So I right, tell my team, just stay alive, just keep him spotted so our artillery can, you know, just finish him off. So there's no need for, especially these two guys are one shots to risk getting taken out. Um, I mean, we're still 600, down 600 HP on the enemy. Now we're about even, so we can still throw this game, especially the um, Progetto has a very potent um, auto reloader. So he can definitely carry this situation, especially with um, um, who is, let's see, with our object 705, he's a one shot, um, me and this FV are two shots, so he could theoretically in one clip kill both of us, right? And this Sturve is very sneaky, get a nice, uh, cheeky shot into the Sturve there. It looked like it went through the side, but we'll have to see. Um, and I'm just, I'm really paranoid of this, op uh, Progetto you know, running me down, which is, I think, what he should have done. He should have probably just, you know, rushed me, um, you know, probably eaten one shot from me, but he would have easily been able to take me out in two shots. Um, so I'm very fortunate that I bounced the Progetto. He bounces off my turret and um, the object and the uh, Death Star on our team were able to finish him off. So now I'm just um, calling for artillery support. Um, already hits him so I know he's gonna be he's stunned so he's he's gonna have um, really bad gun handling so 
try to try to get a side uh, shot into his side, but um, only track him. And our artillery finishes him off. So this is where I feel really relieved, and I say nice win. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the kill shot on the artillery. <laughs> And I fire a HE shot at the 1A3 just uh, kind of for fun. So let's take a look at the uh, post game stats here. All right, hey guys, here's the post game stats. We got an ace tanker for this game, and we had 6,300 damage, four kills, and 1,250 base experience. So top on damage and top on experience um kind of got a little tunnel vision during this game but um especially at the end i uh, started to realize that we might throw the game so trying to be um cautious at the end towards the end and um looks like a decent number of players had uh, over 3,000 damage on their team and let's see 28 shots fired 21 hits and 18 penetrations. So very accurate gun, very good dispersion and gun handling, um, as well as a uh, pretty high penetration. So this was 6,300 damage and <laughs> only one shot was sniping. So it was all pretty much close quarters, um, brawling and made sure, making sure that I use my turret as well as just poking in between um, people's reloads. I actually had 1900 blocked. So kind of curious to see which shots blocked for that game. And um, 86,000 credits and 41,000 uh, profit. So actually pretty good. We didn't have to fire any gold rounds this game just because we were trying to flank and aiming for weak spots. So pretty good game for 10 minutes. So let's see if we can take a look at the, the battle hits. All right, so we ricocheted the Progetto at the end. We also ricocheted the STRV. The 705 Pendus on the upper plate, which is kind of surprising. Um, so I guess he just maybe got a high roll or something. Um, HE shot in the lower plate. Um, FV bounced an AP round, which is means i mean it goes to show that the mantle is really strong i mean that that tank has like um well over 300 i think it's like 310 millimeters of penetration with the ap round so um yeah luckily we bounced that shot if he was firing hash we would have probably taken like four or five hundred damage there maybe or maybe it would have gotten absorbed i don't know but yeah pretty great game in the patent and um, I haven't actually played this this tank a lot. Um, I think I only had like 30 or so games and this is my first ace so definitely need to play this tank a little bit more. Yeah, I've only played 31 games so um, I don't know. I, it just seems a little bit sluggish for me. Plays kind of like a heavy and the weak spot definitely um, can be a weakness um, for sure and I mean you really want to play hold down but this weakness is just pretty big and especially when people a lot of people know about it and it's pretty prominent so let me know your thoughts on the patent and what's your favorite tier 10 medium so thanks for watching or we're out